So a quick update on the whole Andrew Tate situation. Uh, last time he was um, arrested after his house got raided, he had to be arrested and sent in jail for 30 days, right? Damn. He tried to appeal it. Judge said, eh, I'm looking at some of this evidence, so yeah, I'm not going to appeal you, dog. Mm -hmm. And so since then, over the past like three to four days, a lot of things have been coming out. And yeah, like I said, man, you got it right, man. You got the money laundering part right. Thanks, to, man. To a T. Money laundering is way more realistic. <laughs> and like if you fucking rolled the dice, I'd say it's probably money laundering. But like... To yeah. a T. But there's also a bunch of other... um. So the, what's happening right now is that they're claiming that Andrew Tate is under two charges, money laundering or tax evasion, something to do with the financial se sector, mm -hmm. which is um, pretty, It's there's like a lot of substantial evidence backing that. I feel like, I feel like when it comes to, to millionaires and billionaires, money laundering is probably what a lot, like, money laundering and tax evasion. Those two things are the top things you're probably going to catch a lot of motherfucking niggas who make bread off. Like... When it comes to the millionaires, like, those are going to be the two main things that you're going to be able to, like, stick to them. You know what I'm saying? Because they, their money is so endless or so much of it that it's going to be hard for it not to be funneled through some illegal enterprise in some capacity. Now, I'm not saying it got to be grand, like, their whole foundation or their whole empire is built off of that. But let's say they have a bad investment or something, like, it's, it's as simple as that they have a bad investment or, like, they funnel money to an investor that's not, like, you know what I'm saying, top tier or not really great in the field or a good, a really good track record and boom. Now, now, oh, like they're getting all these great returns and all of that. The whole time the books is not clean or like whole time these niggas, the, the people that they loaned the money to or, or invested the money to is actually, you know what I'm saying? You get it? So that, that, that's easy. Tax evasion is also easy to get caught up in because it's so many different laws with taxes and ways to not pay it. Or I wouldn't necessarily say pay it. Pay it. It's more loop. It's so many fucking loopholes, bro. Like if you really know, if you know, you know. It's mad loopholes around certain shit. And if you got enough money to do the shit properly, I'm not. I'm not advocating towards this shit. Trump, like, is if you really go back, Trump and all the all of those other millionaires and billionaires, they've discussed this shit with the public, bro. It's not a fucking secret. Like, it's not nothing I'm telling y'all to do or something I made up. This is literally what the millionaires and billionaires do, like. So they can avoid, and the IRS does not have enough funds in order to go after those guys. So they go after the people like me and you who may be not as financially secure as these other places. So just a, a food for thought real quick. And the whole sex trafficking situation is him coercing women or even um, frauding them to a degree, telling them that, oh, I love you so, so, so much. We can get together, get married, run off. Don't you trust me, trust no one else. I'm your guy, da, 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 right? And then she comes over and then he's like, nope, you're going to be doing webcams and I'm going to be making money off of you. Two things that people are um, they're pushing right now. When you say webcam company, people assume, oh, it's just a sex fest. But in reality, it's a shitload of people management. The HR category of the webcam business is, is the largest and most important thing. You're effectively taking girls, teaching them how to make unlimited money from home, and then making sure they give it all to you. So he so he's explaining basically how he's setting things up and how, how things are um being positioned as well. Hey, look at the hat in the bottom right. I know. Stop sales. <laughs> Assets do I have? Okay, I have a car, I have this, I have that. And then I realized I had about five girlfriends, all smoking hall. And females are an asset. Smoking hot. I hate that terminology, bro. That's like his face. <laughs> Yo. All right, dude. This is where it gets. This is where it gets. Yeah, I'm the skill I'm going to teach you is exactly the same. I could easily translate mine to a street business, and you could easily street pimp with the things I'm going to teach you. So Yeah, ah, and then kind of coursing them into going to legal. So this is what screen share is all about. Effectively, this is the way the business works. The girl sits on the camera. Now, when the girl is on camera, and you would have seen from my promotion, promotional video, that was at the height of my webcam empire. The blonde in that video I'm still with now. You'll see from there how we explain that there's people typing or pretending to be the girl. 24 hours a day. So that's something that we talk about pretty often on this channel. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know why you guys believe that 
there aren't men responding to y'all on OnlyFans and on these sites and stuff like that. There's just no way that one person can be sitting here replying to y'all routinely. Person. I personally don't agree with it. If you were, if you're in, if you want to participate in like the sex model industry, whatever. But I think that it's, I think it's fraudulent to just sit here and have a, a, have a man texting and responding to you the entire time when the other men on the other side are paying for for their response to a woman. Like at the end of the day, you can do whatever you want to do. Yeah. If that's what you want to. I get it though. It's a service, so he's kind of like I'm paying for this service, and I would want to and expect the the service to be uh. <clears throat> Reiterate or like not uh, basically provide it from the person that I want the service from and to get it from some I, I, I guess I get it Participating in fine, but for a man to be responding to you for the line crew Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait and the go-getters. There's Shout Granger playback, yeah. supplies and solutions That's pretty fraudulent. That's pretty crazy, but yeah, yeah, we continue tax is also another important element for controlling your woman huh? You're not gonna pay anybody tax because you're getting paid in Bitcoin to tell your girl that you're paying the tax because girls are lazy and girls are stupid and girls don't understand this nigga i see why he be talking he be talking crazy and how taxes work so the girl's working with you and you're like oh okay yeah we've made this much money but i'm gonna pay the tax to make sure we don't get in trouble she'll sit there and go okay okay now that allows you to do two things one it's another control element I work with him, my tax is not a problem. If I do it alone, I have to deal with taxes. Taxes are complicated. So control element. It allows you to pay her a smaller percentage. So I used to pay my girls 30%. So for every $10,000 they made, I'd give them three and I'd keep seven. They thought they were on 50%. And I said that the disparity is because of taxes. So you're on 50%, but we had to pay the tax first and then it's 50-50. If they say, why is it 50-50? Because I'm the one on camera. You say, because I'm the one typing, I'm the one with the, the property you're working in, I'm the one paying the bills, the electricity. If you, they don't believe you or they want to get fresh or whatever, print out some tax forms. I see this all the time. I just print out some random tax forms and say, yeah, sign here and sign this. What is it? So the tax, you want to pay the tax or not? Ooh, okay, and they just sign away. I don't know what the fucking signing. I'll throw them away afterwards, but they, they think something's happening. Something real is happening. So long story short, he's, um, this nigga is nuts. <laughs> this nigga is nuts, bro. Yo. Now I see what they was talking about on the internet. I was getting the, this is fucking crazy. This is fucking crazy, bro. Oh, something's happening. Yo, this nigga's a um, dickhead. He basically just convinces women, which uh, FYI, he later also says that he's trying his hardest to avoid paying taxes and stuff like that. He bounces around different countries avoiding taxes. Um, then there's also text threads with some of the women that he was bringing in, specifically talking about money laundering. Mm -hmm. That he was just sitting here saying that this business, webcam business, was just something that he was just funneling money in and out of. And this is just a, a, a fake business that he was pushing money through so he can pull it out in other ways. So once more to evade taxes and again, launder money. Um, people believe that when it comes to sex trafficking, that there's like this dude in a van that pulls up and they just yeah. snatch up women and then that's, that's how they the, pull them. That's a simplistic term. Like that's the simplest way to explain sex trafficking. But it, it, it's such a broad, no pun intended, it's such a broad market uh, that it can literally mean pretty much about Anything they, like the kidnapping, which is part of it. However, what is a much more common tactic, or at least from what I've seen from certain videos, is what Tate is explaining. How he exp he convinces women about this lifestyle or something that he's providing them, mm -hmm. and then they get there, and they come to find out they're entrapped into a, a completely different situation that they were ever in. And then now he's trying to like tell them, hey, you you're here now. You need to work for me. I'm gonna make you a bunch of money. And da 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 da. He also explains like how um, if the woman doesn't. Believe leave you then bring in another woman sit down y'all have a conversation and i'll have a woman explain it to the other woman what he calls his you know his bottom da 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 what if you do not say a lot of webcam business oh i don't want to do that so okay i know you don't want to do that but listen come let's have a meeting let's just talk about it if you don't want to do it don't do it fine but let me explain it to you properly in fact i'll bring one of the girls who works for me you your bottom bitch the new girl you go out for fucking a nice dinner your bottom bitch is the one who does the selling you don't do the selling the girl has to hear from a girl 
And this is why your boss has to be trained. That's why I said it's so important to have a good first girl. So then um, the judge originally was not going to use these clips. There's so much evidence. I kind of have to use the, the clips that you put on the internet as evidence of like who you are as a person. However, now his lawyer is claiming that who he was as a person was just a character. <laughs> I mean, that's a good so. I mean, yeah, it is a good sell, but that's what he's gonna do. Right. So on the legality part of it, fraud is incredibly difficult to prosecute for. If if you wanted to get rich tomorrow with the lowest likelihood of getting caught, fraud is the best way to do it. Them being it, them proving that you were the one who did it is the difficult part. The good thing, I guess, for the prosecutors in this case, is this nigga went online and I about himself to snitched. <laughs> I was about to say for the better part of the last decade. So them just sitting back waiting for this nigga to do more podcasts and interviews, talking about this situation because he talked about it on the Nunk podcast. Yeah. Um, I seen that. He talked about it on plenty of podcasts in the last year, so they're going to go ahead, gather all that information and try and use it to see if it's even admissible in court. And I bet some of it will be, and I bet some of it will also play a role. But again, fraud is very difficult to prosecute for. And two, that shit is not taken seriously. It does seem like the money laundering or tax evasion potentially those aren't the same thing to, either they're, they're not but no i'm talking also, about there's a lot of financial yeah, things they're trying to hit them with it's very saying. easy to get away with tax evasion not that i would know but especially when you bounce around from country to country because each country has their own loopholes and there's hella gray area but i tell y'all them loopholes very very you know what i'm saying and remember when i like when it comes to the motherfucking them, them, the uh, uh the money laundering shit bro that shit is Shit is very finicky. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's easy to, to label somebody or put that on them, but to prove that shit, and again, this thing could be moving from, you know what I'm saying, from state, from country to country, states. It's crazy, bro. Loop, the loopholes and the legalities on that shit. I don't know, man. I don't know. Everybody participates in it, so you can't prosecute mm -hmm. one person without plugging a loophole, or you begin to look like a hypocrite. What well, they so, said that or they said it is well, he has like ten passports, and he'll, he's been bragging about that as well. He'll yeah, bounce around from da da da. da so he can claim that he made the money in another country that that's not that's not a tax that he owes to the country of Romania, yeah, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. But also, like this nigga went online and was talking about how Romania, like, oh, we don't give a fuck about Romanian courts. Or Romanian courts is gonna that be tight, was, so they might. That was another thing, though. They're gonna. I feel like they're gonna try to make an example out of him for that. That shit, bro. Telling being on the internet saying like you don't give a fuck about your government, like the government is you, know, you don't respect them, or, or 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 like you don't take them serious, you just pay somebody off and then you walk out, like bro, and you're that kind of figure, they don't take lightly to no shit like that, bro. Anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the, even if they are like that, now they have they're on the spotlight and they have to use an example now. They so I wouldn't be surprised if they violate something. I, I just come in, I just pay people. I'll pay you, I'll pay you, I'll pay you. <laughs> yeah, the, the problem with Tate in this whole situation is that he was just way... I don't know if he did or didn't do it. Let's just say hypothetically speaking, he did. This, is, Yeah, I, I don't know either, but when you boast like that, bro... When you boast like that, not even just to the government, but on the internet make it seem like you're untouchable, bro. People like, like especially the government, bro, they like humbling people, bro. I don't know if y'all been watching documentaries... Or prime example, the mafia. I don't like that. I use them as such an example when it comes to the to the to the, like the, the the government use of force and use of power to anything. The mafia was literally on some shit like, "Yo, I'm we're untouchable. Y'all can't do nothing with us. We built half of this shit. Yeah, you feel me? Like we pay y'all salary. We do this. We do that. We gonna kill somebody. All right, nigga, you go to jail. Boom, come home in a couple months. He's good. His t family's taken care of. You know what I'm saying? Like. Oh, you arresting us now? Like, yeah, I know where your grandmother, your, your son, and your daughter go to school. Like, we'll pay them a visit. Like, how, like, how's little Johnny doing? Like, and when they did all of that, that just made, that just gave them more and more fuel to the fire. Like, oh, y'all niggas think y'all untouchable? All right, we're going to show y'all exactly how untouchable the government is or how much power we actually have. And then they, they started using Rico. Once that happened, it was over. Since Rico has been established, and just, I'm just using the United States as an example. In the United States, any and all motherfucking criminal enterprises, criminal organizations are done for. The moment they started using that shit on the feds, it was over. It was nothing. It was nothing. Is nothing. Nobody can do to beat that shit. Conspiracy, fraud, money laundering. Like, bro, it's it the ex to the extent of how they use these these fucking laws, bro. Nobody's fucking with them. I'm trying to tell y'all. 
Nobody. The problem with him is that things in which that would be more difficult to hit somebody on, the man basically just told on himself. He was just way yeah, too just, loud with certain things and just and that's extreme. Thing. When you're too loud like that, like on some nigga, yeah, I'm a, uh, yeah, we did, like we did, like yeah, I, uh, you just talking too much. You make it even easier. Like it's, they already trying to build a case on you, but when you flodge and and, 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 and you feel me, you flocking or whatever the case may be, nigga. They want you. Only in the Hellcat, for example, the nigga was flossing. I don't know. I, his case is still ongoing, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not saying he did anything illegal or, or fraudulent or whatever. That's what, they, that's what the government is trying to say. But he was moving so so crazy and talking his shit. But when, you, when you're African-American and you come from nothing, bro, I don't know if he's African-American. I think, I think he may be. I could be wrong. But when you're somebody like that and you're African-American and you're flossing like that, bro, they want you. Because they, 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 they already looking at you like, who is this guy? Why are you talking shit like this? Uh, where did he get his money from? And then now they start digging. And they see you got 10 cars, all white, big ass crib, traveling, doing all this, doing all that. $50,000 worth of change. You got businesses. You, you know what I'm saying? And they start unpacking your shit. And for anybody in this world, I don't give a fuck who you are. If niggas dig deep enough, they're going to find something. I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't. You could be the Pope, nigga. You could be the Pope. Anybody amongst that walks this green earth, if you look into them deep enough, you will find anything. A, you could be a speck. Oh, yeah, this nigga litter. You're going to find something. And then it's, it, it becomes easier when you floss and boast and shit like that. Because now they they really intensively looking and watching. Extremely flagrant with the level of disrespect exactly. with some um, police officers or um, exactly. higher levels of, um, of establishing power in certain countries. So that's really the problem is that he was just too loud about the things that he was doing without it's really being loud. completely transparent on how he was making his money potentially. So if he did do it and these these things are going to be used incriminating for him, that's going to be tough. So then the second part, still going back to the sex trafficking and you, the R word allegations. The R word allegations, I believe from what I've seen, are going to be pretty hard to stick with. Not because I believe he did or didn't do it, but just because in general, it tends to be a bunch of he said, she, she said type of stuff. So that's that's just tough. That's just the reality of, of dealing with that. However, the sex trafficking, there's a possibility that will also stick as well if he coerced, co coerced a lot of those women by telling them something that actually was never really true and then bringing them in. They also have text messages of the other women being very um, physical, violent, very demeaning to the other women who... Hey, yo. Who claimed that they were victims yeah, so in this situation. I, yeah, that area I have no fucking clue about. But I do know that, like, that's some shitty shit to do. I wanted to hop on Destiny do. stream to ask him, because I don't, I really don't know, I don't really know the legality behind it. And Andrew Tate, that kind of makes you a bad person. Treating anybody like that makes you a bad person. But that's not that uncommon in business. Just to let y'all niggas know, bro. There's, there's times where, like, uh, you talk to an agency and they take 60% and don't say, well, like, it's so common for yeah. people to move fraudulently in any form of business that maybe I'm just so used to it. This just feels more flagrant because it's more deceptive in nature. Like they have to come to a location to shoot him and it's like the content is sexual in nature. So it feels like they're being exploited more. But the yeah. idea that like you're trying to maintain control and you want people to feel like they need you is not that uncommon in, in, in like devious businesses. Yeah, I agree. That's really unfortunate, yo. Let's see what else comes out, man, about the situation. I feel like I spoke a lot on this shit. Um, we'll see, man. Uh, hopefully, hopefully the truth comes out. And we'll, I, I really don't know how to formulate opinion. Right now, though, shit is looking bad. Niggas been sitting in the door. That clip that we just watched and just niggas saying stop snitching. Shit looks bad right now. Um, y'all let me know how y'all feel about Andrew Tate. How y'all feel about these clips. What's on your mind? Uh... How you feel about the charges that that are brought against him and all of that, man? Let me know, man. I genuinely want to know.